आज हमारे साथ जो क्लाइंट है ही इज फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश बांग्लादेश सिटीजन है इन्होंने हमें अंगेज किया है और देखिए वहां से पैसे डलवाए हैं हमें तो देहर आफ्टर वी विल डिस्कसिंग अभी इसके इनके साथ डिस्कस करेंगे इनकी व्हाट्स एवर प्रॉब्लम है उसको सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो बांग्लादेश से और पाकिस्तान से बहुत सारे फोन आते हैं और तो बांग्लादेश के हमारे पास बहुत सारे क्लाइंट्स भी हैं उनका भी हम काम करवाते हैं दोज आर सीरियस क्योंकि दिल्ली में हमारा ऑफिस है तो बहुत सारी एम्बेसी बांग्लादेश के अंदर नहीं है तो बांग्लादेश के लोगों को दिल्ली में आकर अपनी सबमिशन करवानी पड़ती है और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप की सर्विसेस हमसे लेते हैं तो मैंने फिर बताया कि सीरियस है अंगेज अंगेज जब आप हमें कर लेते हैं तो उसके बाद हम आपके डिस्पोजल के ऊपर रहते हैं अदरवाइज क्या है कि स्पेशली बांग्लादेश या पाकिस्तान वाले हुए चैट बहुत करते हैं दे आर आस्किंग लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन तो हमारे पास क्या है कि इतना टाइम नहीं रहता है कि वी विल उस चैट के ऊपर अपना टाइम वेस्ट करते रहे उसके बाद फिर रिजल्ट नहीं है तो आपकी प्रोफाइल देखने के बाद मैं क्या बताता हूँ टू द पॉइंट की आपकी एलिजिबिलिटी है वी विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू तो आप हमारे साथ प्रोसीड कर सकते हैं हमें अंगेज करिए उसके बाद हम आपको अपनी सारी की सारी सर्विस प्रोवाइड करेंगे अगर आपकी एलिजिबिलिटी नहीं है तो वी आर टेलिंग ऑन द स्टेट फॉरवर्ड की वी कुड नॉट डू एनी टाइप ऑफ हेल्प इन योर केस तो आज जो क्लाइंट है साशिन है इनका नाम जो बांग्लादेश से हैं तो इनकी क्वेरी लेंगे तो क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम रही हैं क्या क्या चाहते हैं वो सारे के सारे प्रॉब्लम को हम सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करेंगे शासन सर सबसे पहले मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं अपनी इस मीटिंग के अंदर तो आई थिंक सो आप हिंदी समझते हैं या इंग्लिश दोनों चले तो सबसे पहले मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूँ अपनी इस यूम मीटिंग में मेरी तरफ से आपको नमन है नमस्कार है तो शाशिन शाशिन फर्स्टली आई विल आस्क फ्रॉम वेयर यू टू कवर रेफरेंस फॉर आवर कंपनी इंफॉर्मेशन सर आई फाउंड यू फ्रॉम यूट्यूब ओके या एंड वेदर यू वॉच अवर एनी वीडियो और समथिंग यस सर आई रेगुलरली वॉच योर वीडियोस ऑन योर लाइक आई वॉच योर लास्ट वीडियो यू टॉकिंग ओवर द शेंजन कंट्रीज 26 कंट्रीज आई वॉच दैट वन रिसेंटली बिफोर इंटरव्यूइंग विद यू Okay. So I mostly watch. Mostly first started watching videos after I got that uh, procedural fairness letter. Okay. From the uh, how many days you are following our social media? Since around a year. Okay. 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 And after, please. Okay. Okay. But uh, you are the Bangladesh. I think so. The uh, language is the harder. Whether you can understand the Hindi also, since our maximum videos are in Hindi. Yeah, it's because like uh, when I used when I grew up, I watched a lot of Hindi cartoons, okay, like Doraemon, everything. So I learned Hindi from there. Like, it, like most most guys my age in Bangladesh, they they know Hindi. Like they can understand, but we cannot talk as fluently as you guys. Whether in your schools uh, there is any Hindi subject in Bangladesh? No, no, no. There okay. aren't any Hindi subjects. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, it's all not... like you know, watching Hindi movies and stuff. I learned from there. Okay. Now, what is the feedback of our videos? Whatsoever you watched. No, I found you guys to be mainly honest. Okay, okay, okay. To the Thank point. You. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much for giving this uh, fantastic feedback. For that reason, we are telling the truth and uh, or using the maximum transparency. What uh, whatsoever clients those are taking our service. So now we will uh, discuss about your case, sir. So yes, sir. firstly, tell me about your profile and what is your age and what is your educations. So my age is twenty-two years old right now. Okay. I am studying in Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics in China. Okay. I have completed one year. Okay. Thirty-seven credits completed and two and a half years left. Okay. It means For this graduate. is it is the three and a half year degree. Yeah, three and a half years. You are do, you are doing it from China. Yes, from China, but I'm right now and I'm. And Chittagong, Bangladesh. Okay, because okay. Because China hasn't opened up yet. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, whether it is the fully scholarship, partial scholarship, or paid? Paid, self-funded. Self-funded. And what is the yearly fees in this program? It's around twenty-three thousand nine hundred RMB. May tell me in USD or euros or uh, something. USD, it's about thirty-two hundred USD per year. Yes, for you. Now we need accommodation. Accommodation. Now we will come to your schooling. Tell me about your schooling. I have studied in the British curriculum from my childhood. 
it is a gcsc or ib G gcsc gcsc can be that grade in gcsc in o levels i had 1a okay 3b okay. 1c and 1b and a level a levels my a levels was really bad i got 1 as in, okay. in i did 1 d in as and 2 uh -huh. us so it's really i could say it's incompleted but i have still sat for three exams okay 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 that is and the it, reason like first, yeah let me say when when i did my first time my application in canada mm -hmm. in 2019 i had few options i had fic icm ryerson college and i had bcit Okay, so okay. Nee, tell me, uh, tell me the stream. It is the science or uh, 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 this is a physics, uh, uh, chemistry, math in O A level. Oh. In O levels, I took generalized subjects. Okay, and A level. A levels, I took economics and com uh, economics and accounting. And your entire schooling from Bangladesh itself or from another country? Yes. Okay, no, from Bangladesh. Like uh, it's a Bangladeshi. It's uh, it's a Turkish school. Okay. My school is Turkish. All of my teachers are Turkish, but they teach the British board, the Great. GCSE. Great. And tell me about your IELTS. You did, uh, did the IELTS? Yes, I yes I appeared for IELTS exam in 2019, and I got seven. Oh, great! And can you tell me the each module? Each module, like I got around seven and a half on listening, seven on speaking, and six point five each, I guess, in the other two. Got writing and reading. Got and previously applied somewhere. Or... Yes, sir. Firstly, I applied in Canada. In which in college and which program? I applied in British Columbia Institute Institute of Technology (BCIT). Ah, yes. On, yes. Yeah. Which program? Marketing management. Okay. Marketing management, entrepreneurial option. Okay. And the second, uh, and uh, that, uh, and what is the result of that uh, visa? Firstly, I applied. I started my classes around September eight, twenty twenty. Okay. And after application, the admission department in BCIT told me that as soon as possible to process my study permit. Okay. Because in that time, in the year of COVID, like COVID was really bad that time, mm -hmm. so they didn't used to give full study permit approval. They used to get give AP or API. Yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Like, yeah, that you, thing. You you so got it or not? No, I didn't get it after oh. application. I got rejected within a week. The reason what they mentioned in the refusals, you will yeah, not come back. They mentioned that I didn't. Week in no, academic. no, not those. Hmm. They mentioned that I didn't have enough source of funds. Oh, like, and the studies were not like in line with my qu previous qualifications. You know the G uh, GIC. GIC. Uh, that I think so. It is not applicable in uh, Bangladesh. GIC, Granted Income yeah, Certificate. Yeah, there, there is. No, you know this. We thing? have oh, GIC application process. No, GIC for uh, the purpose oh, of this is a GIC grant. account. Yeah, GIC account. Whether it is no, applicable. No, no, have, no, oh, no, no, it is no, not sorry. applicable for Bangladesh. I think so. No, no, no. Like it, keeping ten thousand dollars as a yes, yes, yes. Right? It is applicable for oh. Chinese, Vietnamese, uh, or Indians or Filipinos. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Bangladesh. Yes, 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 yes. And it means yeah. you sh you shown uh, you shown all the funds in your parents' account. Yeah, in my parents' account. Yes. How much in US dollar or euro? Um, BCID required. I didn't show in US dollar. I showed in Canadian dollars. How much? BCID required forty thousand for okay. the whole course. Okay. And I already paid ten thousand from my home country, so okay. thirty thousand was left. And okay. according to the CIC website, I had to pay twelve thousand each year as a living expense. Hmm. So twenty-four thousand added with the thirty thousand, it's fifty-four thousand Canadian dollars, right? Okay. okay. I showed around sixty thousand Canadian dollars. Okay. And uh, this is in your parents' account. Yeah, my parents' account. And what your parents are doing in Bangladesh? Yeah, that's the really big big problem we have right now. I mean, I had with my application personally because my my father he has a shop, a flower shop. Okay. So most of his dealings are in cash. Okay. He doesn't have any bank transactions. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like every deal he has, he has to do with cash. Every mm -hmm. payment he has to make supplier, it's in cash. Mm -hmm. Whether it's big, whether it's small, everything is cash. Oh. So that is the reason I couldn't show the sources of my fund to Canadian. Of it is because everything is in cash. They want bank statements. I don't have any bank statements. I explained that my 
business is in cash, but I, I they didn't buy the explanation. Okay, they refused the visa. And what happened in second time? I think so. Two, two times you attempt. Yeah, yeah. First time, sir, I did everything by myself. Okay. Because uh, during COVID time, no agencies, I couldn't contact anybody. Everything oh. was closed. Okay. And I, I did it by myself. And mm -hmm. second time, what happened is, sir, I lost confidence in myself. I lost confidence in my ability mm -hmm. because everybody was saying that you did it yourself. That's why you got rejected. Take mm -hmm. help of an agency. Mm -hmm. So I gave up. I didn't research anything. Mm -hmm. So what happened is a family friend of ours. So uh, why not? Family, why, why not you approach us? Sir, okay. I was I was younger back then. I didn't used to like, I, I didn't have confidence in myself to be honest. Mm -hmm. After me. after refusal, why not <clears throat> you approach us? After refusal. I didn't know what you guys that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And what happened in next time? The next time, sir, what happened is in after getting rejected, I my father talked with a guy. He has a small agency in Dhaka, like a capital city of Bangladesh. A small agency. He doesn't even like I, I, it's not his fault. Like if I had got, gotten the visa, I would be in Canada right now. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not his fault that I got rejected, but he made the, like, he made the documents, which are like really fraud and bad. That's why I got oh banned, you know, God. without any bad, without any good reason, I wouldn't have gotten banned. Right. Mm -hmm. So he made some documents like for the source of funds. I, uh, for, uh, when I did second time application, what he did was he canceled my admi uh, admission BCIT. Mm -hmm. He moved me to Yorkville university. Mm -hmm in BBA in mm -hmm. project management, I guess. Okay. It, it was also a three year course. So mm -hmm. I, I thought, okay, it's three years. Everything is fine. Okay. I like, I didn't want my time to be, get wasted. Mm -hmm. BCIT mainly I chose because I, it's a shorter course, right? Okay. It's two years course, mm -hmm. one year bachelor's. So that's mm -hmm. why I chose Yorkville. Mm -hmm. After choosing Yorkville, what happened is he made, he told, to, he told me to make payment. I made a 5,000 USD or 7,000 Canadian dollar payment to there. And I got the acceptance letter. After acceptance letter, what he did was to show the proof of funds, he made a fake land sale paper. Oh. Listen, he made a fake land sale paper. And another thing he did was like, you know, RMG, right, mm -hmm. sir? Uh -huh. made gun. Yeah, that sector has, yeah, you, you should deal everything in bank. And it's mm -hmm. a really high amount. Like in each day, you have transactions around five to 6,000 USD. Mm -hmm. My father's one friend, he has a RMG business. Mm -hmm. So what that guy, did, my agent did was he made my mother a business certificate, a business license in Bangladesh. Then he made that guy who does RMG business, it, my father's it, friend. It means he used a fake document for applying second time your uh, study visa of Canada. Yes, sir. Yes. And he I think it means, it, it, means, it means second time you also got the refusal as well as ban. Yes, yeah. yes, sir. In the many of the videos, if we, you are watching the video, we are telling the if you are applying your visa, especially for UK or Canada or uh, one of yes. two or one other country, please never ever use any fake documents. Since yes, sir. After, even they are refusing, even they are putting the ban. Yeah. You are a very That's serious student. Part. According to my experience, I am sending a lot of students in different, different countries. Not a you. Yes, As per your profile, this is very good profile. It is not an ordinary profile or you are spoiling yourself on the, you are spoiling yourself. There is no any loss to the consultant. He made the money. He already made the yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Exactly even, so. even you, uh, your career is totally spoiled in, uh, you can't go to uh, Canada as well as US. Yeah. Anywho, <clears throat> now you will tell me what you are looking from us. Thereafter, we can suggest what we can do in your case. Sir, firstly, uh, another thing, let me tell you, my younger brother is two years younger than me mm -hmm. with the same documents that you know, my father had. Yeah, he got Australian visa, not Canadian. Uh, Australian, okay, okay. Yeah, but he didn't show any fake documents. After the lesson I learned, I told him that not to show fake documents, whatever we have, mm -hmm. the real ones he showed and he got the visa. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he, he showed my father's income, like as he did a CA evaluation of our business mm -hmm. that daily we sell this much and monthly we sell this much and the Australian government accepted it. So he is now in Melbourne, in Latrobe, he's studying it. And now you are, he's real younger brother. Yeah, my, yeah, my blood brother. Okay, very nice. And you, now you are, what you are looking from us. 
sir mainly i want i i roamed around in many agencies in my country and different people are saying different things sir like I, if when i see your videos you stick to your word you say what's true and what's right right like you are not getting commission for any universities what happens is mostly in our countries everybody is running after that 50000 like $500 commission and they're ruining a student's life for just $500 right mm -hmm. so i'm really frustrated about that whenever i go to a, a agency that works in denmark they're saying denmark is the best option for you whenever they're working with netherlands they're saying netherlands is the best option for you somebody is working with hungary they're saying hungary is the best option for you so sir i'm like really confused so that's why i wanted to do this interview sir i, I wanted to know what my right now. as per your profile we have a number of options there is no any problem and even jo country mein hindi mein bolunga bhi thoda sa kyunki hamare jo hamare jo viewers hain wo thoda hindi jo bolne wale ko zyada ha to aisa hai ki main aapko strongest country dunga then canada jo abhi main aapko suggest karunga so there is no any problem demoralize nahi hona hai thoda patience chahiye if you are looking the service of crown immigration then you need a lot of patience तो आप डेफिनेटली बेस्ट से बेस्ट कंट्रीज में पहुंच सकते हो तो फर्स्टली मैं ये कहना चाहता हूं कि आपने ये ब्लंडर मिस्टेक क्यों की है चाइना क्यों सिलेक्ट किया है एज पर योर प्रोफाइल सर व्हाई आई सिलेक्ट चाइना इज बिकॉज़ आफ्टर आई गॉट रिजेक्शन इन जुलाई 2021 लाइक द नेक्स्ट इनटेक वाज सितंबर आई हैड टू चॉइसेस इफ आई वाज टू सिट अराउंड बिकॉज़ आई ग्रेजुएटेड इन 2019 सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट अ टू ईयर गैप whether my choice was to sit around for another years and make the gap 3 years and whether was to join some university so i found china to be cheap and fast so i joined over there so why not india or bangladesh sir bangladesh sir i didn't join bangladesh because like with my a levels i couldn't even get registered in one of the bangladesh universities mm. so even india, india. Yeah. Oh. so turkey turkey same sir a levels no that's no. why i chose no turkey we have the lot of options for you even for your case you know i think they have one exam this, this is called bios you know yeah. this thing you know this thing bios sat exam sat sat yes sat yes yes, yes, yes. Uh, any who leave it about the turkey or something no i will tell you but we can do we have a very good choice but the budget if you can afford the fees if you will tell me your budget so then i can choose the countries budget sir like i want to my my brother let me tell you my case my brother is earning himself and he's paying his tuition fees himself mm -hmm. so i want something similar i don't want to be a burden i'm 22 years old almost right now mm -hmm. i don't want to be a burden on my family like my father can give the initial payment of like 10000 15000 us dollar mm -hmm. but after i go i want to earn and live by myself we are suggesting a three countries finland netherland uh, finland netherland or denmark these three countries we are strongly recommended put the application in these three countries okay sir so so but netherlands sir i i i saw some colleges they are asking to like expose like talk about your immigration history sir how can we deal with that problem no no there is no any problem i know there are courses i i have sent a lot of like that type of profile whatsoever happened with you in netherlands yes sir not a problem okay, for you yeah yeah so i wanted to ask you a few questions i okay, made a ask, list ask yes sir sir i wanted to know like if australia would be possible australia you can put the applications but uh, i i told you in the one video the five sister countries are sharing the data with each other ah yes. yes but it is depend on the visa officer who will deal your file agar wo aapki profile mein thoda deeply jata hai तो अगर वो सर्च करता है अगर ये चीजें सामने आती है तो मे बी यू विल फेस द प्रॉब्लम यू नो दी द जी टी डेफिनेशन जी टी जेन्युअन टेम्पररी इंटरनेट यू नो दिस थिंग जी टी आई एम राइटिंग जी टी नोट डोन दिस थिंग जी टी जी टी जेन्युअन टेम्पररी इंटरनेट ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू कैन सर्च इन द गूगल इन इन जी टी डेफिनेशन दे आर लुकिंग ए like a that student having not a study gap not a drop drop out student not previously refused in gt definition they have mentioned these thing oh like gt clearance yes 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 oh, this oh, this oh, is yes. this is mentioned and your profile is not like clear that gt definitions 
since okay, okay. you are also doing the this aeronautical engineering in china even yeah. previously two time refused these time even yeah. funds problems that reason you are not coming in that you can try it but it is not like that you will 100% get it it is a 50 50 chances as per your profile 50 50 chance right yeah okay and sir i wanted to know about norway norway me norway me you are eligible you can put the application but the your a level score the a level yeah 65% required right I, I, yes maybe uh, you will uh, not get the admission but we can try it since there is no any application fees and we can put the application if your luck is there so you can get the admissions if they are limited applications put in next year and it will open in october yeah yeah i was thinking about that norway we can put there is no any problem since your education uh, from gcse board so it means there is no need for 13 years of study gcse board okay. ib board you know ib diploma yeah 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 these these two board if they completed their o level a level or ib diploma then there is no need for 30 years of study you can directly apply there without any problem so another thing i wanted to know with my chinese credits like i have completed 37 credits mm -hmm. it's a english taught course will mm -hmm. it go to waste we, we can we can attach that one while putting your applications there that is not a problem mm -hmm. but they will not give any type of credit they will give you the admission in second year oh okay okay uh -huh. yes yes so that's also good uh, yes, yes. We, we, we can start from uh, this one norway since it will start in the next month in the first week of october or uh, second week of october they yeah, will yeah, open yeah. their applications yes sir. so should i sit for my ielts again yeah, when it will expire it, it, it already expired sir then uh, we are strongly recommended do it as early as possible sir we can put the application with expired ielts since even your entire study was also uh, from uh, uh, gcse ah yes the english yeah. board then maybe you are exempted from there sir yeah i have seen I, i have seen in some universities in netherlands and norway if i have c in o levels gcse o levels if i have c i will get exemption yes the big uh, uh, yeah we can put the application but we are telling you you can appear again that is not a problem yeah i i also is like it's easy for me sir ah uh, yes sir i know this is not a ordinary score 7 band <laughs> <laughs> yes so, uh, everybody say like Uh, most of the students get like more than seven sir i actually didn't study that much <laughs> okay no problem any question uh, another uh, question another question sir um yeah, no sir uh, i wanted to know about ireland sir ireland we are not recommending sir it is a commercial country and lot of pieces there is no any settlement policies why you are going to ireland no i like i heard some it's easier to get pr and stuff oh, no, no 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 it's hard right uh, yes yes yes, yes. it is a wrong decision we are not recommending the people but people are crazy since there is lot of promotion in uk ireland in the market that reason maximum yeah, yeah. students are looking oh, okay i want to go in ireland or <laughs> australia or something if if one country is giving the free study why not putting the application there yes sir sure like sir netherlands finland and denmark denmark right even in norway we can put Yeah, I'm, i i i want to exclude denmark because it, getting pr in denmark is really difficult. very difficult very difficult no no doubt uh, even there is a yeah, very yeah. less even there is a very less uh, post study permit only a six months six months and uh, uh, on top of that sir if i have to apply for pr i should keep around 490000 danish crore yes yes, yeah. yes 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 very good study you did three courses yes yes very, very good study you did Yeah, I watched all your videos. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's right. So, so let's keep Netherlands, Finland, and Norway as options. Norway first priority, second Finland, then uh, sir uh, another Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. These three countries we can put the application for September intake. Netherlands yeah, we have sir. the Jan. Netherlands we have still Jan intake available. So in Wittenberg. I will check which university or whatsoever, sir. in netherlands so, sir uh, can we talk about the application like your fees over here we can tell you about the fees we are uh, we can discuss that is not a problem 15000 yeah. indian rupees this is like a 200 euro we are taking in advance yeah 
and uh, another our fees whatsoever we are settled that is for starting from 15000 euro 1500 euro to 3000 euro it is depend in which country you are putting your application okay, okay but we that we are taking after granting the visa after visa is completed right ah uh, yes then the student will get the visa okay okay sir okay sir i want to continue like in uh, anything like ja the fastest will be norway right no 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 fast will be uh, netherlands jan and day netherlands january yes jan and another is september or september is too late sir because if i starting september it's almost again four years so i told that this is a fact yeah uh, i will be 27 or 8 years old i guess <laughs> so then you will start from netherlands even if you yeah, will, let... even if you will get the admission or visa even reach there even in the meantime if you will get the admission of norway so then you will relocate to norway do the entire study free there that we yes, that sir. is that is possible my i was looking at norway because it, your free study and the wages are also very good but but the in norway you need to give the student deposit yeah i know sir ah, around yes. 10000 around 10 to 12000 euro in finland no, uh, also, in true. in netherland also Yeah, I know the European process. Sir, in every country I do, I have to. Oh okay. no, 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 no! Only two, three, four countries have the this options. This uh, student deposit, or uh, like a GIC account, or like a blocked account. Not in other countries. Only four, five so countries. Then let's, then let's start the process for Netherlands and Norway. Okay, then uh, uh, tomorrow we can start the process. I will tell to my staff; they will proceed your application. They will send you the checklist. Send the uh, send the document as early as possible. We will put put your application. I have sent all my documents sir, to you to Kajal on WhatsApp. Okay, no problem. I will tell to the Kajal. She will forward your document to the concerned filing department, admission department. They will process the start and they will also start the chat with you. Yes, sir. Sure. Or anything Because else. I... No, no, sir. I I just wanted to know a few questions. Like, will my application be plausible in Australia or Europe? No, that, no Europe to... is possible. Europe, Australia only the luck, fifty-fifty chances. Yeah, I I think I can't believe in luck at this point, sir. Okay, but uh, then proceed for these better. country. Whatsoever we have recommended you. Sir. So, what are the visa ratios? In Which Europe? country? This country, Netherlands, Denmark, sir, and uh, these three country. If you will get the admissions, the so more than ninety-five percent you will get the visa. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you will get the admission, if you will get the admission, more than ninety-five percent chances you will get the visa. Not a another not a yeah. single rejections after admission from our agency. These three countries. Another thing, sir, uh, I want to leave. Like, if I go to any any of these countries, uh, can you please choose a university that is near to like the town space? Sir, that not is that is that is impossible. I can put the application. <laughs> or if you are yeah. telling i want to go in that specific location that specific university that is your luck sir we can proceed the application in that university also okay okay sir yes, yes. Sir. okay sir that's it sir and then please tell your staff to contact me okay sir thank you bahut acha laga aapse baat karke aur main salute karta hu you are very educated student hain aur bahut study ki hui hai previously aur main yahi chahta hu ki har ek student jaise aap educated hain aise educated hona chahiye बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनी प्रोसेस उसको आप जैसी रिसर्च करनी जरूरी है अगर आपने ये रिसर्च जब आपने अपना कनेडा का वीजा डाला था की होती तो आपको ये चीजें देखने को नहीं मिलती yes, sir. तो बहुत अच्छा लगा आपसे बात करके मेरी तरफ से आपको नमन है और आपके पेरेंट्स को भी मेरी तरफ से नमन बोल दी थैंक यू